Watching cover to cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read. We're going to take a look today at something that's not quite a book, but maybe very soon it's about to become one. This is a report published by Crest, the Centre for Research and Evidence on Security Threats, titled "The Idea, Context, Framing, and Realities of Sikh Radicalisation in Britain." The report was compiled by Dr. Jasjeet Singh and was published in November of 2017. It's available in digital format as well as this soft copy that I am going to be using for today's review. This report was the conclusion of over a year's worth of research conducted by Dr. Jasjeet Singh from the University of Leeds in a project funded by Crest. Now Crest is a national hub for looking at security threats that exist in the United Kingdom. This report came about as a result of media attention that was focused on the Sikh community in the UK in 2015, following protests against uh, the then Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who was visiting the UK. Dr. Jasjeet Singh is a UK-born scholar who is based at the University of Leeds in the Department of Philosophy, Religion and the History of Science. He completed his PhD a few years ago in the transmission of Sikhi to young people around the globe using the internet and whatnot. Apologies there Dr. Jasjeet Singh for belittling your PhD to whatnot. Now, as I said, you can download a copy of this report from the Crest website where it's available exactly as you see here in this soft cover printed version. The same colorful title will appear on the PDF file that you download. Uh, now, this is an interesting piece of work. Uh, we're just going to take a very quick look through the contents. So there is um, a number of different chapters and sections that will be of interest to anyone who is looking at current affairs for the South Asian community or specifically the Sikh community with a focus on the diaspora in the UK. Now in total the report is around about 100 pages long but that includes a number of very interesting and fascinating appendices as well as the methodology on how the research was conducted, some empirical data on Sikhs in Britain and most importantly the executive summary. Now this might not be reading that everybody wants to download and look at straight away but it is important I think that in the current climate Every Sikh who wants to have an opinion or voice an opinion, form an opinion on how Sikhs are being perceived by the media and by foreign governments outside of the Punjab, uh, they need to read the executive summary, which in this printed copy is only four pages long, but it gives you a good grasp of what this research concluded. If you're not somebody who's familiar or regularly used to reading academic reports or research of this type that's compiled and published, don't worry because as long as you have an interest in the subject matter, you will find that it is quite well written for the layman to read and start to grasp. As we take a look down at the contents, you can see that it begins with the executive summary followed by a purpose and content of the report, uh, the data as I've already mentioned, and then methodology on how the research was conducted before we get the start of chapters proper. So the first chapter from fanatics to radicals, mapping Sikh activism in Britain. We've got a chapter on narratives and issues, and then a chapter on transmission of narratives. The political issues are quite obvious to anyone who is Sikh themselves, focusing around the two events from 1984, June, the invasion of Darbar Sahib at Amritsar and then the November genocide of Sikhs centred in Delhi. But then when we look at the religious issues, we start finding Biadvi of the Guru Granth Sahib as well as issues of doctrinal difference between different Sikhs. And then there is a section on social and cultural issues. So gender issues and then issues between the Sikh community and Muslims too. 
is also a very helpful bibliography that includes newspaper reports as well as books or other academic papers and uh, research that has been conducted into these areas already. So as previously mentioned, if you happen to come across a printed copy of the report, what you'll find is that the font is very, very easy to read. It is very clear on very bright white paper and it is broken up with figures and images and small maps as necessary. It's very likely that this research report may instigate a book. Now, I have no inside information on whether Dr. Jasjeet Singh is going to do that or not. However, I do think that this will spawn further research and whether or not it becomes an academic work that's published as a book or whether it is uh, the layman looking into the findings of this and writing about it for the everyday reader, uh, I think there is definitely a book that is going to come out uh, based on this research in the next three or four years. So look out for a book like that. Join us again for another Cover to Cover, our guide to the Sikh and Punjabi books that you need to read.